following the same steps, continue planking the hull from the first strake towards the upper part of the rails and from the lower part of the false keel to the first strake. This is how the planked hull will look after this operation has been finished. The fitting of the strakes leaves a series of small gaps in the hull. To fill them, use so-called packing strips. To make them, offer up a strake to the gap and take its measurement. Cut it carefully to length and modify it with a sanding block to give it the required curve and size. Apply glue and fit the packing strip, filling the gap. Now the planking of the hull is completed, you can move on to fitting the bow blocks. Apply glue and attach them one by one following the assembly instructions. Now sand the hull to even up the whole surface and enable the outer planking to fit smoothly. The sanding process is the same as for the frame sections, beginning by working from the bow to the stern and then from the stern to the bow. Once the blocks are sanded, they must be left flush with the strake planks. Everything must be left smooth and without uneven areas. Then, using a file, smooth off the heads of the nails until they are flush with the plank strakes. Now you can start to fit the outer planking. Apply contact adhesive to the area of the hull where the first strake fits and to the strip of planking. Fit the first strip on the side of the hull so it goes beyond the bow false keel. Continue pressing it so that it remains glued. After the first one, glue another strake to continue the line. Then rub it with the handle of the spatula so it sticks firmly. Mm -hmm. 
Fitting the remaining pieces of planking is carried out in the same way as the first planking, from the first strake towards the upper part of the rails. In the lower part of the hull, fit the planking beginning from the start of the upper plank and from the false keel so as to end up approximately in the centre of the hull. The process of closing the gaps is also the same as for the first planking, by making and fitting packing strips. Once the planking has been finished, it is best to turn the hull over to sand it. This must be done with very fine sandpaper and very gently so you don't damage the planking. The planking must end up very smooth. With a dry paintbrush, remove the dust caused by the sanding. 